What is up guys, this is Val, and this is another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, I'm just going to give you a little quick overview on how to render something. So, say you've done a model, I'm just going to import a model. Let's just pick uh, this camera one here, made by a friend. Uh, I'll put his channel in the description. Um, but yeah, say you've done this model and you want to render it out. So you click on to this kind of has a little picture frame with a settings thing. Click that, and the first thing that comes out is output. Output is the basically the thing that the end product. So you can choose the size of it. You can do it manually by typing in here, like my screen size is screen resolution is 2560 by 1440, it's a 27 inch iMac. Uh, so yeah, or you can you know if you know that You want to have on a four piece of paper Let's say you can choose that and it does does the settings by itself or if you know it's going to be on The web you can do it here or film and video so if it's an animation you want to have the best uh, Possible you can choose HDTV 1080p 2997 so yeah, um, and the the resolution is de depending on the thing. The like, if you not many people know their actual resolution, so depending on what you put in, it'll change it by itself. Uh, some of them are the same, some of them are different. Um, and here, so you need to make sure that if you're doing it for a an animation the standard is current frame so that won't actually render it as a cur current fr as a whole animation it will only do the one frame that's showing on the actual view panel and if you want to change that to the to make actually an animation you want to click all frames or if you just want a little preview of what it is uh, then you want to you can do uh, manual and you can choose a frames in between so yeah let's just go back to all frames keep it like that and then you can also go into your save kind of option panel and here this is where you kind of choose the output of where things will be saved and you can clip click here and it will save it in it will open the kind of area and you can choose where to save you can type a name blah 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 and here you can choose the format so if you're doing an animation you want to make sure that you put it on an animation kind of format which is QuickTime movie um, but if it's just a JPEG or you know single frame object you want to have it on uh, one of these up here so I don't know, most people use TIFF for Cinema 4D or some people use JPEG. But yeah, it's all personal preference and what, what the actual project is. And the aliasing is also used for kind of increasing the, the quality of your renders. But take it as a warning, it really has an effect on render time. So if you put it best and you keep up really high, uh, 16 by 16, it really will increase your render times if it's a big animation or big uh, project. Like as you can see, this is just a camera, and you see saw how quick it was at the start. I think I think I showed you. I can't remember, uh, but yeah, it's taking a long time just for that. Uh, so let's just put none, and then I'll show you how quick it does. It. So yeah, you can see the difference in render times. Uh, but there's obviously a large quality difference in quality. Um, and here are the options. So these are stuff like the the HUD display or all these different kind of like here. This is for the lights. This shows a refraction whether it will show in your final render or reflections or shadows or transparency, all that stuff. And stereoscopic. Uh, I've actually done a tutorial on stereoscopic effect in Cinema 40 R13. This is only in R13 because it's a new feature in R13. It came out end of last year. Um, 
so yeah if you want to learn how to use that you can just go back to that tutorial it's in my tutorials playlist um, so yeah th that's um, it and then the physical render is for also I've done a diff different tutorial on that so yeah hope that was helpful um, hope you enjoyed it follow me on Twitter like please um, help me get a hundred followers uh, subscribe to this channel subscribe to my tech channel like this video comment on it I like some feedback for you, from you guys what do you what do you want to guys see in, what do you guys want to see in the future and all that um, so yeah that's about it follow me on Twitter and thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>